Well, questions tonight over politics and policies of Florida's response to the nation's immigration crisis. Parts of our state still dealing with a new surge of migrant landings. In the Florida Keys, a frequency of migrants making the dangerous trek on water is reaching numbers. Federal agents they haven't seen in decades. Our Katie Legrone is spending this week in the Keys to show you a firsthand look. We arrived in the Florida Keys Monday afternoon to see exactly what federal agents have been dealing with. And this boat behind me just arrived this morning. You can see how rigged out it is. Certainly not safe for water, let alone the 10 migrants that spend days in this trying to make it ashore. This landing, one of nearly a dozen in just the past 24 hours in the Keys, surprising even federal agents. Hours before the sun came up in the Florida Keys, the response was in full swing. And we were there. More than two dozen migrants had made it to the Navy base in Key West. The call coming in just before 1.30 Tuesday morning. 25 migrants appear to all be Cuban. I did an interview with a few of them. Uh, looks like um, all from Havana, Cuba. The men and women explaining a dangerous and scary journey in the Atlantic over the course of three days. The sharks at some point were circling the boat. <gasps> this 22 year old woman came with her aunt and boyfriend. Didn't have very much water or anything during the trip. This man describes getting lost, encountering a storm, his hand cut by simply holding on to a homemade boat they say they couldn't completely control. As a matter of fact, unless they were holding on, if they let go of the handle, it would um, they're unable to stop it. This is the rigged out boat found crashed against a Navy vessel after the migrants managed to get off. The scene now a daily, sometimes more than daily occurrence here. As of Tuesday, U.S. Customs and Border Patrol reporting roughly 450 migrant encounters and 32 separate landings just since October 1st, nearly a dozen in the last 24 hours. In the last 24 hours, we've responded to 11 different migrant landings throughout the Florida Keys. In just 24 hours? In just 24 hours. The surge taxing resources on land. It's uh, the heaviest um, mig migrant traffic that I've ever encountered since I've been here. And on water, where air and marine crews work to interdict migrants before they make it on shore. Tuesday afternoon, we were there when federal agents intercepted 12 Cuban migrants. How long? After eight days on water, they were stopped some 15 miles from shore. Their boat, another handmade, barely operable, but desperate attempt at freedom. When asked why they risk their lives to come here, this group shout, there's nothing in Cuba. Cuba has nothing. And those migrants that did not make it on shore will be sent back to Cuba. As for the reason behind the surge, federal agents tell us primarily it's economic conditions in Cuba and basic human services that simply aren't there. Katie Legrone in the Florida Keys reporting.